And so I've got a couple of questions, right? Firstly, are you European? Yes, yeah, absolutely. And why are you European? Born European, we've got European citizenship. We're, the whole life we've been in the EU, it's not just been you're British, but you're part of Europe, part of something bigger. I feel like we've shared like the good times and the bad times with the Europeans. You know, if you look at the history of the last hundred years, we've we've like hurt together, but we've also grown together. For our generation, it's something we've never really had to think about because we were born European. We just you know, we've always been part of the EU, and it wasn't until the day of the Brexit vote that I actually realised that I felt like something was being taken away from my identity when someone actually decided they could stand up and tell me I wasn't European. I felt like that wasn't. You know, What's your message to my Labour colleagues in the Shadow Cabinet? For me, I mean, I think that in terms of Labour's position, in terms of wanting to compromise and wanting to bring both together, it's a beautiful idea, but in reality it just doesn't, there is no, for me, the only solution is, the only democratic solution, considering we now know everyone admits that it doesn't look anything like it did three years ago, you just ask the people, do you still want to go ahead? I don't know why they wouldn't trust the people. It just you know, I've been a Labour member since I was 16 years old, and the, the essence of the Labour Party for me is fighting for the interests of the people who are going to be the worst off from the most disastrous outcome of this. And the Labour Party has to fight for those people to have a choice, to have a chance to have a say. But, I mean, there's two million more young people who now have a vote who are like apathetic that this massive decision is being taken for them. Just let them have a say. I'd tell the Shadow Cabinet to be bolder and to be braver. I think, as well as a Labour Party member, this middle of the road has knocked us down time and time again. And this constructive ambiguity, it didn't work, it's not working, it will not work. We have to take a stand. And I think that stand should be pro-European pro-Remain, but asking the people what do they want now that we know what it looks like. Always been European, hopefully always will be.